I don't hate it. Hi guys, what's up? I'm Jaina. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and thanks for tuning in to this video. If you are new here, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and join our growing family. And I'm just going to get straight into this week's video. If you haven't guessed already by the title, we are going to be doing a, another foundation review. You guys loved my old foundation review that I did on her previous foundations, which I will tag here. Um, on her Luminous um, Faux Filter. So if you haven't already guessed, I'm going to be doing the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation Stick Review. This is my first time trying it. I have watched a few videos on it, um, but I've never really thought it's something that I needed to try. I've used her liquid foundation. I really like it. I like the coverage that it gives. So there was no urgency for me to try this, but I've been getting loads of requests to do foundation reviews. So I thought I'm going to try this one. One thing I do have to say is I ordered this online, so I didn't go into store. I already know my colour for Huda Beauty is Macchiato or Baclava, kind of depending on like what kind of tone I want to go for, how much I want to build it up. Um, so I already knew if I get Baclava, um, if I get Macchiato, it would be like pretty much my shade. Um, I ordered it online and when it came, I like to say I was shocked is probably an understatement because the size of it is tiny, okay? Like it's tiny. So I actually have a, a a primer box, which is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter Primer, which is what I'm going to be using anyway today. This alone is 0 0.5 ounces, um, so 15 milliliters. So it's one of those minis. So you kind of get the full price for 20 pounds and then you get this for kind of like 10 or 13 pounds, I think it was. And that is 0 0.5 ounces. This foundation stick is 0 0.44 ounces. So it's not even the same size. So in terms of product, what you get in here, you actually get more in here than you do in here. What puts me off is that this was, I, I want to say this was 32 pounds. So 32 pounds, okay, that's average for a foundation. That's not too, but the fact that it's that small, oh, that already puts me on like a back foot of, this foundation like it could be great we might not need as much product every time so it could like be really like well built up or it could have really good coverage but i think for 32 pound and not getting a full size huda like i don't know what you're playing with us you're like you're playing with us now and i'm a bit like oh but we're gonna go we're gonna try so on the website it does say i'm just gonna read it off here so it does say it is a buildable coverage foundation. It is fragrance free. It's non-drying. It's formulated. It's waterproof. And it is a 10 hour wear and sweat and humidity resistant, which is kind of like her luminous faux filter foundation. So like the new formula of her liquid foundation. Um, it does say to buff out with a sponge or a brush. So I am again going to do half a sponge, half a brush, and then kind of just finish off my um, face with whatever I feel works better on my skin. You all know I love a sponge over a brush however some formulas do sit better with a brush on the skin so we will give that a try um she obviously says to use her brush to do that i find the huda beauty brush way too dense so i am actually going to use my real techniques face brush so i think this is the face two yeah real techniques 200 face buffing brush it's dense but it's a little bit of a looser dense so i feel like it it kind of gives me a really good buff. I actually think it might be a little bit more natural, but obviously if we want to build up coverage, I'll see kind of like what it's like when it goes on. So I am just going to get straight into this video so we can test this foundation, but I just did want to give my first thoughts on the price and kind of like the size of the product because I've watched a few videos and I've not actually heard anyone mention it. And if you're like me and you spend a lot of money on products, you obviously want to know that you're getting what you're paying for. So that was like kind of a red flag for me, but we're gonna go, I might love the product and I might buy it again. Do my okay. eyes already. I'm actually gonna prime my face using this backlight, um, Becca backlight priming filter. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and I'm gonna kind of put it around my target areas. But first, I just kind of work that into my skin. I actually love this primer. Like look at the glow it gives, it's so nice. It's just such a nice primer. It smells great and it just sits on my skin super nice and smooth. And just, I just feel like it just gives it such a nice glow. So I feel like, especially when you're kind of going for a full coverage foundation or even kind of like maybe a drier foundation where that's not as hydrating or a moisturizing foundation, this primer is amazing. So I'm going to take it. I think the color match should be okay. I'm going to put it directly on my skin because I guess that's how it. The color match for me is amazing. Like it is a little bit darker, but. It's good. I do feel it's a little bit creamy. Like I feel like you could probably put on more product than you need. 
it feels kind of melted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I actually think I'm gonna blend it out with a brush first. Just to kind of, the texture is really light. Like I feel like I can't feel, it just feels like really creamy on my face. I actually think the macchiato in this stick might be a little bit better than the macchiato liquid, but I'm just gonna blend that in using kind of like a stippling technique, but using a buffing brush. I have got quite a few um, spots, as you can see, we had a nice little um, volcano joiners this week. Um, so let's see if it kind of covers that up. I don't really wanna put it on the spots, I'm just gonna put it around my nose. I don't know how I feel about the texture of it. I actually feel like you're going to end up using more product because the texture is so smooth. But then again, I like the fact that the texture is smooth. Okay, this just, I need to put that down. Um, so I'm just going to go in and buff this all over around my face. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, guys, for more foundation reviews. I have got so many foundations to review recently. Um, so I will be posting kind of like weekly foundation reviews. Has everyone tried this foundation? I know I'm a bit late, like this is not a new foundation as such, but if you've tried it, let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments what you think. Did you think it was really creamy? I feel like the, the consistency is too creamy to build up. I don't know. I'm just gonna get it underneath my eye. Like I definitely feel like I'm gonna have to build up with concealer under my eye. Um, whereas I feel like with the liquid, the liquid kind of does give a good coverage under my eyes. Hmm. It is fragrance free, so there's no scent to it whatsoever. So I think if that was one thing putting you off the Huda Beauty products before, there is no scent. I'm just gonna take it down my neck. Hmm. See, I love Huda products and I just don't know. Like, I don't know if I love it or I hate it, to be honest. I think, I think it's actually the texture that's throwing me off because it's so lightweight. I feel like, can we even get full coverage from it? I feel like I'm gonna just do another layer to build up the coverage. And I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender to kind of blend that all out. See if we get a little bit better coverage. It does blend really easily. So that is a good thing. It blends super easy on the skin. I actually feel like, is it a little bit dark, this color for me? Maybe, maybe a little bit actually. I thought it was quite good when I put it on, but it does look a little bit dark, but I think we can lighten that up with concealer. It blends really easy with a beauty blender as well. So it felt really smooth with the brush. It does actually blend out super, super easy. If you've watched my Fenty um, review, which I will tag over here, you'll know that I do really like lightweight, dewy kind of foundation. I thought this was gonna be really mattifying. I actually don't feel like it's matte on the skin. It doesn't feel like it's drying out my skin, which is a positive because especially in the winter months, I kind of get like really, um, dry skin I feel like I'm always putting extra moisturizer on my skin so for me the fact that it claims it's non-drying I totally agree like I definitely feel like it is non-drying um I feel like that's all blended in really well I feel like that's quite a nice finish I don't know if I would say it's full coverage because I feel like you can see my skin texture still underneath um you can kind of see the pores and I obviously I have used primer underneath and you can kind of see the skin texture here. You can see, see that spot over here. I mean, I'm gonna try and cover the spot. You can still see it. So I wouldn't say it is full coverage. I've also done two layers of this foundation. So I have built it up, um, but yeah, I love the way this blends. This is probably great for every day. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rest of my face to see how my other products sit on it. I'm going to be using a mix of cream and powder based products. So let me do the rest of my face and then I'll come back and talk to everyone. Okay guys, so I am back and I have finished the rest of my face. I don't hate it. Oh, 
I thought I had found a foundation where I was a bit like, ah, oh. but then it's hard because I do like Huda products. I don't hate this foundation. I have changed the direction of my blind, so it looks like there's a little bit more natural light coming in. And can we just take a look at the colour? Like, I think the colour match looks great. This finish looks really nice on the skin. I cannot get over how light this foundation feels. Not only does how light does it feel, but how light it was to blend into my face. Like it was so light to blend in. I did actually really enjoy putting it on with a brush over a sponge. Unusual, I know. If you watch my videos, you know I prefer a sponge. But this foundation brush, um, the Real Techniques 200, is a really nice foundation brush. It's a really nice buffing brush. It's so light. It's fluffy yet dense, but doesn't feel heavy when I'm on the face. And I don't feel like, I feel like I could do it really lightly and it just gave me like a really nice coverage. So I definitely recommend putting it on with kind of like a light buffing brush over her really like dense buffing like foundation brush. But I'm just shocked at how much I like it. Um, it's so light on my face. It's so light to put on. It's a really creamy consistency. So for a stick foundation, I, I thought it might like drag a little bit or be a little bit cakey. I thought I was going to get cake around here even while I was putting on my concealer and setting it. That's not happened yet. So obviously we will see once we've like left it on for a few hours, kind of like how it stands and kind of if it gets shiny. At the moment though, mm, I like it. I'm still on the fence of whether I would pay over £30 for it again though. Um, for a daytime foundation, it is really good. But do I think that there are like high street ones that are kind of a little bit more affordable that probably give me the same consistency and texture? Yes, I do. But now that I have it, I do really like it. Oh, I have actually set my face using the Misguided Super Fix from their new makeup range. Um, and it's my first time using it. So I will let you guys know how I got on with that. It is such a nice smell. It's not high fragrance, but it comes out in like a really nice, um, it looks like a hairspray funnel, but comes out in like a really nice mist. And I love the Morphe, um, I think it's continuous setting spray, the black can. I love the mist as a setting spray rather than like a, a water spray. Um, so I actually really enjoyed like setting my face with that. We will see how that lasts. I mean, I've done, I've done my face how I would. I've, at the moment though, I actually do like it which I didn't think I would. I came into this video really hesitant. I think it was the price over the, the amount of product that you get, but I just felt like her liquid foundation so good. Like what, what is different about the stick foundation? But I do like it. So we're going to give it a few hours. I've got loads of bits to do around the house today. So we're going to come back and see if it kind of withstands a day. It does say up to 10 hours. So I'll try and get as close to 10 hours as I can. It's already two o'clock now. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's three o'clock now. Oh, I kind of want to film before 10 o'clock. So we'll try and get to as close as 10 hours as we can. And then I will come back and do a full review on my final thoughts of this product. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and keep watching to find out. So I just thought I would come outside to show you what the foundation looks like in natural daylight. The sun is out today. Um, it's a little bit windy and I'm wearing lip gloss. But as you can see, the texture is really nice the color match is a bang on and it looks so good in natural daylight as well so i am really impressed with the color so i do think that actually if you use her liquid foundation that sticks to whatever color you wear in that it is literally identical to it um the texture feels so nice on my skin it is so soft my skin feels amazing this is so nice for every day because it doesn't feel cakey. I actually don't feel like I've got makeup. I actually feel like I can fill my powder and stuff a little bit more. I will call back in a few hours anyway so we can see what it looks like after a few hours. It's only been really like an hour and a half since I've put it on. Um, but again, there's like no excess shine or anything. But I'll call back in five hours and we'll see what it looks like. Hi guys, so I am back. It is... What time is it? It is 10 past 10 at night. So I've had the foundation on since probably like half two, three o'clock. So it's been a good seven hours, which is pretty much a full day of like a working day. Already you can see that I am super shiny. If I was going out, I would be really happy to kind of just blot this or like powder my nose and then go and carry on with my day. Like it hasn't offended me that much at how shiny I am. What I would say is obviously I had a spot here, but if I just come in, you can see 
where my glasses have kind of been like it's left a mark on my glasses and weirdly I've actually got a mark here and I don't know if it's because of the spot that's kind of like put pressure on my glasses here but that's kind of gone through the foundations so that has transferred in terms of actually transferring to like hands I actually didn't find that much transfer so for me that was really good I've said in previous like videos that I always found my, like my product transfers to my notepad or whatever didn't do that so that was great um I also don't actually think there was a lot of cake in so I've said before I get a lot of cake in kind of around the nose or around the lip so overall I do quite like it I'm actually surprised at how much I liked it because I just didn't have high expectations for it for me this is a really good everyday foundation like I think it's really convenient so like if i'm traveling to kind of just put it on blend it out with a brush it was super easy to use um so i think that's really convenient really good so i actually do really like what she has done in terms of putting the foundation in a stick formula um a lot of the time you kind of get different textures with it i do think it gives a good coverage what i would say though is on her website or on the packaging it does say that it is a buildable coverage I don't agree to it. So obviously I've covered, I've put it on and I put two layers on. Um, it builds up to a good coverage, but you can see my imperfections through here. You can see my spots. So I don't think you can build it up to a full coverage. I personally, I just wouldn't want to wear kind of like three to four layers of a, like a light a foundation when I could just wear a full coverage foundation. Um, I don't think it's that great to, for me to be like, oh, I'm going to sit here and build it up and do like a really full coverage. I don't think it did that for me on my skin personally. Another negative I would have to say about it is I love the packaging on like how sleek it looks. It is so sleek. The only thing I would say it's really flimsy. Like I, I don't know if anyone else felt like this. Like if you've got this product and you feel the same, like let me know in the comments because I feel like when I was turning it, I just felt like this was cheap. Like it feels flimsy like I feel like that could break off really easily that I didn't like about it um I know her actual liquid foundation is like a glass jar and you would never get that in that so I in terms of that I think it's good but when I look at like the hourglass foundation stick and stuff where it's got like that kind of looks feel to it I know the price is higher but it's got that looks feel I just didn't feel like I got that with this. Um, I just felt like it was like really flimsy. I'm struggling to say for the price it's worth it. I do love this foundation, but I think for £32, I definitely think there are nicer foundations on the market. But for a stick foundation, like if you've not used a stick foundation, I actually think this is a really good starting point. I think it's super easy to use. The formula is so creamy. It's a really nice consistency. Like I think if I can do like a, when you put it on, it went on so easy and then you can just see it when you rub it in it's honestly like a bomb you can't even see where it's going it's so soft my face was so soft to touch i don't feel like i'm wearing makeup so that's what i would say for me i think it's a it's one of those ones where it's convenient for me to have so it's a convenience having my makeup bag would i buy it if i run out of it i wouldn't necessarily be rushing to rebuy it if that makes sense but i would like to have it in my makeup bag so Take that what you will but i hope you guys enjoyed this review if you did like this review do not forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel join our growing family and i'll see you on my next video